Hey guys, it's Tara from Earn, Spend, Live, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about bullet journaling, which is essentially, it's a planner that you create yourself. Now, bullet journaling was created by like a specific man. He has a name and I should probably remember it, but I don't, and I'm sorry. So, bullet journaling is described as the analog system for the digital age which is pretty much a fancy way to say it's a notebook and you turn it into a planner. With bullet journaling, you can really turn it into anything you want. You know, with a ruler and the right pen and an idea in your head, you can draw out whatever kind of planner that you need. It's all up to you and it's really cool, but it can also be really overwhelming. And I don't really wanna go into all that because it would take me hours of A, research, and B, just sitting here talking. But I'm gonna go over the basics. So when you start your bullet journal, there are some main components that you have to get ready, and that is your index. And depending on the notebook you use, it might already have an index page for you, but when you start filling it out and you put in your collections, which are things like, you know, lists of books, you know, workout tracking, whatever, it can be anything, you put that in your index for quick reference later. So you can say, okay, I know that on page 20, I have a list of books that I want to read or check out or whatever and that's easy for you to find. So you have your index, then you have your future log, and that's where you break down your pages into six months. You just, you know, draw lines, break it down, so that for the next six months you have somewhere to write down future things that you need to know about. And then you have your months pages, which are one page is the dates of the day, and it's just a list of them. And then a blank page, which is where you're gonna write down tasks for that month. And then you're gonna have your daily or your weekly pages, whichever one that you prefer. And then of course your collections that I mentioned earlier, which you can add to those as you go. You can scrap an entire collection. That's where you can really get creative, you know, with whatever that is that you want to track or make note of. So if you want to bullet journal and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, I know I really did. I have a few tips for you. First, I would say research it a lot. Um, definitely check out the bullet journal website, but then also just get on Google or Pinterest or Instagram and just search for people that bullet journal and look at their pictures of their layouts and the things that they track and just how they organize it. And there's so much on YouTube, like people film their whole process. So that can be really helpful if you want to put in the time for that. If you want it to be elaborate, you don't have to be elaborate with it at all. You can literally just jot things down. And then I would also say before or after you do that, it doesn't matter write down a list of the things that you need on a daily basis. So I did this, I knew I needed somewhere to put my schedule, put my to-do list, track my meals, you know, write down my workout for the day and track water. That was what I needed on a daily basis. And so I wrote all those things down and then when I was doing my research, I knew what I was looking for instead of just, you know, wandering around aimlessly on the internet. And then I would also say when you have collections and things, and it's okay to have a lot of collections, I do. I have like a shopping list, I have um, book list, bucket list, a savings tracker. When you do those, immediately write it down your index because I did not do that for about three weeks and I lost a lot of things and it took a lot of time to flip around and find it. So definitely write things down. So that is pretty much all I have on bullet journaling. If you want an in-depth review, go to Earn, Spend, Live. And then of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos.